Hey guys, uh, I'm going to be installing the OTB Velocity Stack. Uh, just got it used from a fellow and just kind of getting started here. And you can tell I pulled the cover off of my, and I'll show you this, I pulled the cover off of my airbox here. It's uh, seven screws total. Mounts up there like that. One here at the bottom, don't forget that one. And this filter is nasty. I mean, this filter is the nastiest thing I've ever seen. I don't even want to touch it. I'm going to pull it out here. I know it's hard to see. It's dark. But you see this metal screen on the back? If you remove that metal screen, it will flow better just from that. And I mean, this thing is greasy. And it looks like, I know it's hard to tell. Um, there's where my velocity stack goes now what holds it in place is still a little confusing i don't know if it just slides back in there like this or it did come with one of these so i'm thinking one of these is gonna have to go in there just to snug it but i'm not really sure what is gonna hold it it's the thing that confuses me i'm just not real 100% sure what's going to hold it in. But does this thing hold it in? I mean, I don't... Not really sure yet. So, I'm thinking what will happen is, is that goes in, and then I have a... Let me bring it over here. I have this bracket, and I bet this bracket will screw in like this, where the screw holes go, and that will apply the pressure to it to hold it in place. So that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm going to continue on assembling here and I will film it as I go so that, that way you know what we're doing. But th this is the high uh, velocity air filter, the red one, and I did wash it and I haven't dried it, but I blew it out with compressed air. So I'll keep going here. Just give me a few more minutes, guys. All right, guys, what I did here is I took this screw, this nut a little loose above it to give me some swing room here to see how it goes. So I'm still working on it here. And let me get the product in there and we'll see how it uh, turns out. I think I figured it out. So what you got to do is pull the cover off and you take your four screws and it screws that in. I know it's hard to tell. I'm trying to give you guys the best picture I can. And that ring in here just goes backwards, so it just sits flush up against the other one. I figured it would be a perfect fit, but it's it just kind of sits flush. So let me keep going here, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. So moving along, apparently you've got to pull your fairing off because, and this is all up in the way. This is touching. I am not real impressed so far with the fitment of it so let me pull my fairing off so that way i can get to this bolt that's completely up underneath there you see how it tucked in there so anyway i'll be right back with you uh, so moving along here i had to pull the panel off it's like basically i feel like i'm reading braille as a blind person trying to put this on it's that bad and no offense to anybody that's blind but now i got it going you know I, I just i worry about the fitment these people i don't understand how the how it wouldn't have been a much smoother ordeal you know and then look at that screw i got to put in right there Okay, okay, now the fourth one, this goes right back there. There's the brackets in the way. Literally, the bracket that holds the speaker in place is in the way of me putting that in. I don't know if I trust it with three out of four. Let me see what I can do, guys. I'll be back with you. Okay, so I've moved the horn out of the way. This bracket is welded to the frame. 
Check this out. Oh, don't mind me, guys. Oh. What are you doing today? Oh, I'm just trying to install this. Oh, that's crazy. There's no way. There's no way to get that bolt in. What you have to do is you have to go ahead and start this bolt, slide it into it, and then tighten it down, which I don't know how you'll ever get a wrench back there to tighten that down. So I'm thinking about pulling this off just due to the fitment. Cause I mean, look, you got you, you got to get back here. The bolt's too long. There's no way to finesse it in there. So let me try it again. Okay guys, so I have pulled the filter off and there's still not enough room. So what you need to do to assemble this is completely disassemble this whole setup. Go ahead and put this screw in it almost all the way down in the thread so it'll fit behind this bolt here or this bracket and then move on with your installation. Uh, so you see that screw? That's as far in as you can go. And then when I get it together, I guess I'll have to use some type of vice grip or something to snug that down with because I just, I don't understand. $169 and you can't get the fitment any better than that. It does look good though. I mean, it looks amazing, but the fitment, come on now. Sorry, I'm complaining guys, just a little aggravated. I've been out here an hour on this and they said a 15 minute install is what they said. 15 minute install, well, maybe so if it went together and came apart and blah, 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 I don't know. So, I got it, somewhat. Still can't adjust your valves with this cover on. No way you'll get that cap off. Can't even get the nut off of it. So, let me get the filter on and then we'll fire it up and see what it sounds like. Okay, so I got three out of four bolts tight. This one here, I don't really know what to do with that one. So, let's come on over here to the toolbox. <laughs> World's smallest tweezers. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Start out with medium ones. Okay. Oh yeah, get that turn going here. Still can't get it in there. No matter how I angle this. I'm going to have to leave it at that. And then I'm going to have a hell of a time taking it apart to adjust the valves. All right, let's get back to the horn here. So the horn goes like this, rest against your filter. So worst case scenario, boys, the horn will hold your filter in place. Now here's the real question, is that can I tighten this bolt all the way? Because it looks like, <laughs> it looks like it's going to hit. And... I don't know yet. Come on, baby. Look at that, look at that clearance. Right on it. It does look good though, I'm not gonna lie. Let's fire it up. Uh, where's my key? Let's fire it up because my filter's still wet where I washed it. Let's see if it'll run.
it's revving a lot better for sure. And that filter's wet too. <laughs> Got a little exhaust rattle. I don't know. I'm pretty impressed so far with the rev. Rev's a whole lot better, and I can hear a little air moving. Anything's better than this. This setup here is just for eight horsepower. So, all right, boys. So what I'm gonna do now is I got it all assembled. I'm gonna upload this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you can. And uh, I'll put about a hundred miles on it, and I'll do another video. Uh, review. Thank you.